Hello, it's Joelle again. I hope you had a great run just now. And let's ease our way now into a nice cool down stretching sequence. So we'll start by stepping the left foot forwards into a narrow lunge. And then go ahead and take hold of opposite elbows behind the back and just let your arms pull the upper body open as you look up at the sky. Press the back heel down and engage the right glute so that we're getting a nice stretch through the calf and the hip flexor at the same time. And just start to take some deep breaths in and out here, feeling the effect of your wonderful run. And then let's bring the hands onto the hips, step the right foot further back into a longer lunge, keeping the front knee over the ankle, and just keep actively pressing back through that back heel. So just like my five minute pre-run warm-up sequence, which I'll link down below, this post-run stretch is designed to be done standing anywhere you'd like after a run. So no yoga mat, no rolling around on the ground necessary. Just enjoy it. Nice job. And then we'll straighten through that front leg as well, and we'll hinge the upper body forwards over that front leg, getting a nice stretch through the front hamstring. Thanking your muscles and your legs for taking care of you during today's run. Great. And then we'll step forwards and we'll just switch legs. So first that narrow lunge with the right foot forwards this time holding onto opposite elbows behind the back, and maybe leaning that upper body back a little bit, looking up at the sky, opening up through the shoulders, the upper back, the hip flexors and calves, and keeping that glute engaged as well. That'll help a little bit with balance too. And then we'll take the back foot further back for that longer lunge, pressing into the back heel, keeping the front knee over the ankle, upper body nice and upright, and still engaging through that glute for a little bit more of a hip flexor stretch. And think about calming your breathing after the excitement and the effort of your run today. And then we'll just straighten through the front leg as we lean the upper body forwards. Just go as far as you'd like, releasing through the hamstring of that front leg and continuing to breathe here nice and deeply. And then press into that front leg to step forwards. And we'll take the right foot diagonally behind us and reach the right arm up and overhead. So we're using our left hand on our hip here to encourage our hips towards the right. And that's going to give us a lovely stretch through the IT band on the right side. And we also have a 10 minute sequence on IT band pain, which I will link below along with some other relevant videos that you might enjoy if you're a regular runner. Well done. So we can bring the two feet back together and we're going to lift the right foot towards the left hip to open out that right knee. So we're stretching through the front and the side of that right hip as we also challenge our balance a little bit. And you might place the right hand on the right leg to just push it out just that little bit further here. Very nice. So let's come into that IT band stretch on the other side. Left foot steps back diagonally and we'll reach overhead with the left arm as the right arm presses our hips towards the left. This IT band stretch is often done with one foot directly behind the other rather than diagonally like we're doing here, but after a run I always find it's easier to balance like this by just giving myself a little bit of extra space. And now we'll bring that left foot up and towards the right hip as we open out through that knee. Sending our breath into the front and the outside of our left hip, maybe adding a little bit of pressure from that left hand. And then we can bring the foot back to the ground. We'll step the legs out wide and squat down as far as you'd like, pressing the knees out with the hands to just open up through the inner thigh muscles, just like we did in the pre-run stretch, only now we'll 
Just hold the static stretch here and breathe deeply. Great, so we're almost done here. Let's just bring the feet back to hips width apart and we'll roll down into a forward fold for another hamstring stretch. Maybe taking hold of opposite elbows for a little sway side to side or you might also hold on to the legs to just pull yourself in a little bit closer. Your choice. And when you're done, do let me know in the comments if you'd like some more videos for runners, maybe some that could be done as home. Wonderful, let's just roll up and we'll just take a couple of neck circles in both directions here to finish out. Just releasing any lingering tension. Thanking yourself for taking the time after your run today to stretch out. Your body will definitely thank you for it, so well done. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope that I'll be seeing you again very soon. Thank you for practicing with me today. Great job and namaste.